Shalom, Shalom, everyone. My name is Apostle Paula. And I'm Apostle Betsy. And we are the Wonder Twins. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, we're, <laughs> we're here with another video. I can't even keep count at this point. We're moving forward so quickly. So we're here with the fourth video of this playlist. And we're doing letter line 631, 631. That's 631. And you're ready to hear it. Here it goes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Woo. All right, so we're back. Anyhow, uh, 631. Now, we have been explaining that we received a series of numbers from Google. I, I explained that, you know, when you're trying to get on social media or something like that to prove your identity, that they send you these confirmation numbers. So we got these series of numbers, we looked them up, and we understood that it was a message that it is to be understood together. In the last letter line, which was 143, it told us that we were not properly discerning uh, evil people or evil intentions. I don't, I forgot the exact words. Uh, something like that. We weren't, we were indiscriminately or haphazardly discerning. And so this letter line, we're going to see that it gives us, it starts to give us solutions to what needs to be done. Yeah, so let's just get right into it. Letter line 631. I also just want to quickly add that we've received these numbers on the same day. And when we looked into them, they gave a cohesive message. So let us read uh, the explanation of the number 631. Uh, the strong uh, explanation of this number. I wipe off clean. I wipe myself to touch with the hands, handle, work with the hands, need to wipe. In Strong's Hebrew, it means to bind bound, make ready, harness, bind with cords, fetters, etc. as prisoner, figuratively of obligation of oath or vow. And the Rajay Thesaurus is discount. In the second column we look up the gematria of discount and we get pungency, which we link to the first section in blue in the column on the right, pungency we link to a field, especially as being a crop, the country, a field, in brackets, as a drive for cattle, genitive case, the country, especially a farm that is a hamlet. And uh, the gematria is also referring to remedy, uh, which we link to stones meaning to build uh but just before we go forward uh so here you can see behind us is our uh, stone altar that we explained a few videos ago and uh, this is something that all of us should have in our homes and in our temples uh, you can get confirmation about that from Joshua 4. You can also get it from 1 Kings 18, the explanation of what it is and why you should have it. And, you know, there's great power in being obedient to the Father and uh, keeping in his covenant. So here on this letter line, you can see already from uh, 68, 
you can see already from 68 that it starts to talk about the stones and, and building. So, and this stones and building is a part of the remedy. Okay. So I start reading from the top. You wipe off the binds, cords, and fetters that held you prisoner. Now, we, we always say this about letter lines. It gives you a judgment of where you are or of the situation that you find yourself in. So right at the start, it tells you where you are. Mm -hmm. I repeat, you wipe off the binds, cords, and fetters that held you prisoner. Figuratively, you take off the chains of an obligation, oath, or vow. You or others discount or disregard this process you are going through to wipe yourself clean. Again, there's a bit of a warning in those words. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so as we said, we present letter lines to you that we've already lived through. So um, I, in my particular case, uh, in this situation, I was letting go of people in my life who were not either reciprocating the, the, the relationship or they themselves were in, are in just complete rebellion of the, the Most High Father. And it was, it, was, um, it was keeping me from going forward, right? Trying to speak generally about personal situations. But I had just cut off uh, connection with a lot of people in my life. And then I received this letter to, to confirm to me that, yeah, that was the right thing to do, right? And so now there's a bit of freedom that I have, but it also, the, the discarding the process that we're going through, you know, here in Tanzania, us getting here and, and setting up this NGO and everything that we've done is a huge, huge accomplishment. And often we're not understanding that we're not explaining that we're not sharing that and even us ourselves we're just kind of discounting it and disregarding it not only being here in tanzania just the spiritual you know process if you look at the first video i've done and and, and here today i'm a completely new person i've been reborn about a million times and and sister has the same testimony so you know talking about in your life the process that you went through to get clean and not to discount that, not to disregard that. And, and that was a, a, um, advice to me that I was very happy to receive. Yes, because, you know, where we are today is the workmanship of the Most High Father. It is not our own uh, doing. And therefore, we need to rejoice in that journey that He has taken us on to get us to where we are today. We may not be perfect, but we are a much further ahead on our journey up the mountain. Amen. I continue reading. Our first Bible verse is from Romans 3 verse 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, yeah, we establish the law. In Joshua 3 verse 1 we read, And Joshua rose early in the morning, and they removed from and they removed from Shittim and came to Jordan, he and all the children of Israel, and lodged there before they passed over. We continue with a, a writing in blue. So I, I just want to quickly point out again that these Bible verses are confirmation of the blue. It's also uh, adding sometimes. And so you can see the law here is underlined. So that's talking about an obligation or an oath. And then you have they removed. So you're taking off the chain. So again, um, this frequency of 331 in uh, Romans, uh, you have six, six, yes, six yes 631 so romans is the sixth book right and then you have the three one and etc but uh, the point is is that when you're looking in the book of um the nag hamdes and this is on that page probably 631 or 136 when you look up that number in the bible it is confirming and adding to saying the same thing so we continue to read the blue section your literal or figurative field or farm is pungent. A farm represents your mindset and working hard to do something all the time. 
A farm or a field can represent a situation where you are trying your hardest to make more of something. It is a systematic mindset that is focused on cultivating in some manner. It is a mindset that wants to encourage development. You are very focused on maximizing outcomes or end results and on maximizing personal growth. You wish for perfection. You wish for perfect productivity of bearing good fruit. Pungent means having a sharp smell or taste. We can also say powerful or burning. So to clarify, you have a powerful and burning wish to produce perfect good fruit for the Most High Father. Hallelujah. That is such a good uh, a judgment Hallelujah. of you. Yeah. You know, so if you receive this number and, and a Father is speaking through you in this way, He's saying, well done. The right track continue uh, I think one of the things that we say on, on our uh, Sabbath day services on Saturdays is we cannot stand still there's no standing still so you can't just receive a good judgment and says oh I'm fine no we need to progress up the mountain it's a process of ascending higher higher and closer to the Most High Father that, in fact, is why he created the human last. After having prepared and provided for him the things that he created for his sake. The distinction between the father and the son. Now the father, insofar as he is elevated above the members of the all, is unknowable and incomprehensible. Those who say there is a heavenly person and one that is higher are wrong, for they call the visible heavenly person lower, and the one to whom the hidden realm belongs higher. It would be better for them to speak of the inner, the outer, and the outermost. Yeshaya says, Blessed are you when you are hated and persecuted, and no place will be found where you have been persecuted. Amen. Beautiful. We continue to read the supporting Bible verses. In Psalm 56 verse 9 we read, When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. Amen. In Joshua 8 we read, For they will come in Joshua 8 we read, For they will come out after us, till we have drawn them from the city. For they will say, They flee before us, as at the first, therefore we will flee before them. Then ye shall rise up from the ambush, and seize upon the city. For the Lord your God will deliver it into your hand. And it shall be, when ye have taken the city, that ye shall set the city on fire, according to the commandment of the Lord shall ye do. See, I have commanded you. Hallelujah and glory to his name. So I don't know if you can see that here, but you, you see the hated and persecuted right here underlined and that goes with your enemies and it goes with them coming after us and, and you know, God is for me. That has to do with Father providing for you uh, right here. And, uh, and so this last part here, this uh, Joshua 8, this is a literal thing in the scripture, but it's also symbolic for us at this time that we're being commanded to uh, go out, seize the city, and, to, and Father's going to give it to us and uh, make temples when it says set the city on fire we we did on saturday you know many sermons about here this altar you see 
behind us with the stones and how the father is the fire and you can't have an altar you can't have a living altar you can't have a living temple without the fire you can't be a living sacrifice without the fire father needs to be burning inside of you so when it's saying set the city on fire we're talking about preaching and teaching the gospel and getting that holy ghost fire baptism in that city on the people right so it's um not only a literal situation of past history it's uh, symbolic for now so i'm just going to keep the microphone for a minute and go on to the next word here that says the remedy is to build with literal or spiritual stones so as we said in the last video that the problem was discerning haphazardly and so here we're understanding that the remedy to this is the spiritual stones getting your altar and becoming a living stone Hallelujah. And the explanation we have there uh, in gray it, from 1 Peter uh, chapter 2, verse 5. Um, also, as living stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Can you tell us what is an example of spiritual uh, sacrifices? Uh, spiritual sacrifices is to die to self. When we are no longer pursuing our own will, our own way, our traditions of the past, if they are not from the Most High Father, if we are prepared to lay down, to you know the word also says I'm doing a new thing. It also says in another verse that uh, you can't put new wine into old wineskins. Father is all about renewal, rebirth, making a new thing. But we need to submit ourselves to that process by laying down the old. Stepping out of Babylon is another way of a, a sacrifice to the Most High Father. Our comforts of the past, our ways of doing in the past, our aspirations of the past that was making it work within the Babylonian system, which is Satan's kingdom that Satan has set up in this world. When we step out of that and trust Father to provide for us, because he is leading us according to his way and to do his work, that is a living sacrifice when we lay down the path of the old, accepting Father's path that is one of cleaning yourself up, renewal, becoming his temple to dwell in. And we can see here on the screen from an other videos, you can see we are the temple of the Most High Father. So here in the scripture, when it says a spiritual house, he's talking about you, boo. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Uh, in the blue section. This is the one I call from the formless, the body of the incorporeal, the face of the invisible, the word of the inexpressible, the mind of the inconceivable, the spring that flowed from him, the root of those who have been rooted, the God of those who are ready, the light of those he illuminates, the will of those he has willed, the providence of those for whom he provides, the wisdom of those he has made wise, the strength of those he has given strength, the assembly of those whom, with whom he is present, the revelation of that which is out after, the eye of those who see, the spirit of those who breathe, the light of the, the life of those who live, the unity of those who are united. What he, the lower order, brought forth. But so, so that is Father. Yes, that is Father. And and on the contrary. So certainly that is. I've just read about the source. What is behind it all? Um, on the contrary, what the lower order brought forth with the order of threats and fear, so that those who had been acting without instruction should hold the position they had been assigned to keep, being fettered to their places by the chains of the rulers who are over them. Amen. 
So th this, this letter line is so beautiful because it, it, you can see it looks like a piece of cake, right? <laughs> You can see there's many layers to it, and you know these things could go on forever and ever. You could do these 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 numbers in all kinds of ways. It's it's crazy to go on forever, but you can see here that the bottom part is um, commenting on the first part. So the first part of the letter line is talking about you being held a prisoner mm -hmm. and breaking free from that, yeah. and then the bottom part is talking about how Holy Father is you know freedom, all these good, beautiful things, strength and life and and body and assembly and all these wonderful beautiful things mind willed and then the second part is talking about how it's the lower order that gives the threats and the fear and 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 try to keep you fettered or held or locked down in your place by chain so that they can rule over you so that's why you have the orders no i'm not going to say anything that's going to get me in trouble on youtube but you guys can use your mind to understand all the things in society and maybe even in your family and your friends that you have your the threats and the orders and the fears and why is that happening it's happening to keep you in your place okay to keep you from ascending up as we saw in the last letter line which was 143 so uh that this is just beautiful how you can see that it comes together and tells that full story let us end of this uh, explanation of the number 631 with these bible verses we read 2 corinthians 6 by pureness by knowledge by long suffering by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report as deceivers and yet true. We also read in Romans 9 verse 1, I say the truth in Christ. I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. And the final verse, Ruth 1 verse 9. The Lord grant you that ye might find rest, each of you, in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them, and they lifted up their voice and wept. Again, beautiful. You can see here. You can see here that by the power of God, you know, here in the upper uh, yeah. verses, we're talking about the strength and the mind and the, all of that is the yeah. power of yeah. God. Yeah. And then uh, conscience. And that's also here in the mind. And this one in particular, uh, in the house of her husband. Now, you know how it says we're married to Holy Ashaya. We're the bride of Christ, right? Yeah. Uh, and so the house, as it was talking about earlier, is that we're supposed to build a spiritual house. Uh, where was that on there? Yes, right here. Thank you. To build, you know, uh, uh, with literal spiritual stones. First, first Peter 2, 5. So you see right here, it says the literal spiritual stones here. And then here you're to build up a, a spiritual house. And here in this Bible verse of Ruth 1, 9, you can see a different um, understanding of that Bible verse talking about us as the bride of Christ and then our house being Holy Father's temple, right? So that is, again, just another beautiful confirmation. And it helps you to understand a deeper level of what the letter line is saying. But in our particular uh, situation where we were putting the three together, the first one told us that we were haphazardly judging. And then the second one is telling us that the remedy is to build with spiritual stones, which we started to understand the messages about the altar. So let's look at the, the last letter line, uh, 487, to really get a full understanding of what this message was at least to us in this situation when you have this letter line it might mean something completely different for you in your life but we pray that it, it helped you to understand a bit how to read these letter lines and and what they are it's a gift from heaven and the most high, high father in these last days to keep us from error to keep us from stumbling and and not to be deceived so we pray that you receive this in Yeshua Hamashiach's holy name thank you for watching goodbye Thank you for joining us. We're doing letter, letter line one to a thousand. So please like, subscribe, follow, join us on this journey so that you as well will get the notifications. And again, uh, all the information is under this video where you can go to the website. You can also go to the blog and we'll be posting these letter lines there as well. Love you in Christ. All praise, glory and honor to the Most High Father. Shalom. I'm caught up.
up in your presence I just want to sit here at your feet I'm caught up in this holy moment I never want to leave Oh, I'm not here for pleasure Jesus, you don't owe me anything More than anything that you can do I just want you I'm sorry When I've just gone through the motions I'm sorry I just sang another song Take me back to where we start I open up my heart to you I'm sorry When I've come with my agenda I'm sorry When I forgot you were enough Take me back to where we started I, I open up my heart to you I'm caught up in your presence I just want to sit here at your feet I'm caught up in this holy blessings no Jesus you don't owe me anything more than anything that you can do I just want you I just want you and nothing else Nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you. And nothing else, and nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you. And nothing else, and nothing else. Nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else. to where we started You're all that matters You're all that matters Jesus I'm caught up in your presence I just want to sit here at your feet I'm caught up in this holy moment I never want to leave Oh, I'm not here for blessings Jesus, you don't owe me anything more than anything that you can do, I 
I just want you. Mm -hmm.